Hey, this is Sunny in plain English. So one of the fundamental uh, concepts in programming is the ability to be able to loop through collections of data. Now in JavaScript, there are actually many different options available when it comes to looping through data. And today what we're going to do is go through five of them so that you have a, a better understanding of how they work and when you could potentially use them. Now let's pretend that we made a, a request to a database and it uh, retrieved this collection of data. Now let's imagine that with this collection of data, we want to create a loop that goes through every uh, piece of data in this collection to see if it is an article. If it is, we're going to attach some additional data to it by adding an author key uh, and a value which will be my name, Sunil Sandhu. Okay, so the function that we have is called add key to object. Now what this does is take two parameters. Uh, the first parameter is the type of information that we want to add. So the key that we're going to add in this case, it's author. The second parameter is the value that we want to add that onto. So basically like the row in the database or in our case, the object inside of this collection. Um, that all the function does is basically just add author onto it with the value of my name, Sunil Sandu. Now each loop that we've created will basically just run that function every single time it needs to. So the first type of loop that we're going to look at is a for loop. Now this is the one that you probably learn uh, as soon as you started learning about JavaScript or programming. We can look at a for loop as having three parameters. The first is a variable, the second is a condition, and the third is something, some change we're going to make, and then loop through it again. So in our case, that's our for loop, and every time that i is less than the length of the response, then we are going to just execute that add key to object function. That is our for loop. Now the second type of loop that we could do is called a while loop. So you can see in our case, uh, we've still got a variable called i that is set to the value of zero, but it actually sits outside of our while loop. So we've got that there, and then we've got our while and then we've got a condition that needs to be true in order for it to execute. In our case it's while i is less than the response dot length. So it's the same as the one that we used in the for loop. But then inside of that while loop we execute the add key to object function but then afterwards we then increment the value of i by one and it will just keep running until it is no longer true. The third type of loop that we have is a do while loop. This is very similar to a while loop. We can see here that we've still initialized i to zero, but then we run the function and then increment the value, but we do that inside of the do section of, of this loop. Now the key difference between a while loop and a do while loop is the order in which the condition is checked. So in a while loop, the condition will be checked first, then if the statement is true, it will execute. However, in a do while loop, there is a, an execution first, then we check to see if the statement is still true. So it's worth bearing that in mind if you ever do reach for a while loop or a do while loop, in the case of a do while loop, just be aware that it is going to execute at least once, regardless of whether the condition is true or not. Now, the fourth type we have is a for of loop. Here you can see that we've got for, and then inside of our brackets, val of response. So val just being short for value in this case. Uh, of course, that can be whatever you choose to call it. Uh, I've just called it value in this case, or val, because that's what it's doing. It's taking the values from the response object or the response uh, collection. And what we're doing is basically just executing the add key to object function, but we just pass that entire object in there, which is basically what we've just been doing with every single one anyway. Now, the useful thing about for of loops is that you can use them to handle asynchronous tasks as well. So if you ever need to handle asynchronous data in a loop, uh, for of is a really useful one to look at. And the fifth and final one that we're going to look at is the for in loop. 
Now, for ins are useful when we want to iterate through objects rather than uh, what we've been using before, which is actually an array of objects. So imagine that we've got this type of response instead. Uh, the key difference, if you can't tell, is that it's an object of objects rather than an array of objects. A for in allows us to be able to go through each key in the object. So in our case, uh, we put four key in response. Again, the word key could just be whatever you want it to be, but I chose key because I felt like that was more expressive to me for what I was trying to achieve. And we, uh, the only difference here is that in the add key to object function, the second parameter, we pass in the response object, but then we look for that specific key. So we pass that inside of the square brackets. And there we have it. So five different ways to loop through data in JavaScript. I remember when I first started coding and for a long time, four loops were the only ones that I knew about. Uh, but now there are five different ones that I can use and hopefully you can use as well. Uh, and if anyone's curious, there are other types. So there's things such as for each, which people may be wondering why I didn't mention, along with some other ones as well. These other ones are what we would call uh, higher order functions. Uh, so they're a little bit different to these other types of loops that we've discussed today. But those other ones I will cover in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe, uh, like the video, put some comments on there, do all that fun stuff that people do on YouTube. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the coming weeks.